Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we're reuniting with the body and it feels so good. So hop into something comfy. <laughs> Let's get started. Alrighty, my darling friends, let's begin today's practice at the top of the mat in mountain pose. Carefully place your feet, stand up nice and tall, lift your heart and bring your palms together, Anjali Mudra. Let's start this practice by closing the eyes and taking a deep breath in. Use your exhale to actively relax the shoulders down, let go of any stress or tension that might have built up there. And today's session is all about reuniting with what matters most. And we know that when we get disconnected from the things that matter most, time with ourself, our breath, this connection to center, whatever it is, um, then it starts to manifest in the body and we can get a little stiff or we can even get sick. So today we're just gonna tend to the body with the beautiful flow. We're gonna jump right in. So you bring the breath and bring a little gratitude for this time that's so valuable. Thank you for sharing it with me. When you're ready, bend your knees, drop your fingertips down, spread the fingertips wide. As you inhale, reach up towards the sky. Big breath, so big stretch here. And then exhale to bend the knees, send your fingertips down towards the ground, forward fold. Three cycles of breath here. As you get the head below the heart, you can bend your knees as generously as you like here. You can shake the head a little yes, a little no. Even clasp opposite elbow and rock gently side to side. Start to find what feels good here. Again, letting any stress or tension that may have accumulated in any area of the body, allowing this practice with the breath to help release that, relieve you of any tightness that has accumulated in the body. <laughs> Benji's relaxing here. In your next inhale, let's lengthen the crown of the head forward. Lift the spine up about halfway. You wanna create length in the neck as you breathe in, and then use your exhale to slowly fold it back down. All right, from here, fingertips are gonna come to the mat. We're gonna kick the right foot all the way back, lower the right knee to the ground. Front knee stays over front ankle, and we start to stretch it out here, breathing deep. Inhale, open your chest, look forward. Exhale, peel the left hip crease back, flex your left toes towards your face. Big stretch here. Inhale to find length in the neck, maybe look forward again. And then exhale, roll through that left foot. We're gonna lift the back knee, get light on the fingertips. Big stretch here. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Let your heart energy radiate forward. Then exhale, plant the palms. Step the left toes back to plank or half plank. Take a deep breath in as you puff up through the back body, hollow through the front body. Big breath in. Long breath out. Then inhale to look forward, shift forward on the toes. Exhale to keep the elbows hugging into the side body as you lower all the way down to the floor or your dog's paw. Then inhale, press into the tops of the feet, lift your chest up, Bhujangasana, Cobra, nice and low here to start. Hey bud. And then exhale, release. Curl the toes under, option to press up to all fours here or power up to plank. From all fours or plank pose, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lots of love in here as you pedal it out, stretching through the side body. And exhale, reconnecting to the fingerprints, the knuckles, your foundation. Awesome, here we go. Inhale in here, exhale, find stillness in downward dog. Keep breathing. And then when you're ready, bend the knees, carve a line with your nose, look up. You're gonna step just the right foot, just the right foot all the way up, lower the left knee down. 
Great, nice low lunge here on the other side, front knee over front ankle. Breathe deep, stretch. Great, inhale to open your chest, look forward. Exhale to slowly take the hips back. So notice how my left hip is over my left knee. I'm not coming all the way back. Pulling the right hip crease back. Flex through your right foot, so active in the foot. Inhale to open the chest, look forward. And exhale to roll through your right foot. Get light on the fingertips. You're gonna lift the back knee. Strong back leg here, reach your left heel towards the back. As you inhale, tug the shoulders away from the ears, open the chest. Think about drawing your shoulder blades in towards each other here and melting them down the back body. Great, awesome work. Inhale in, exhale to plant the palms, step it back to plank or half plank. Hug the elbows into the side body. Look forward, shift forward. Keep breathing as you lower down all the way to the belly or to your dog's chest. Then inhale, rise up, maybe a little bit higher this time, Bhujangasana, Cobra. And use your exhale to slowly lower it down. Press up to plank or all fours. Yogi's choice, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, hips up high and back, downward facing dog, awesome work. Beautiful, ground through the left heel now. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward. From here, you're gonna again, make sure that front knee is over front ankle. And then nice and easy, go ahead and lower the back knee to kiss the earth and take your right hand over to meet the left. So we're here in a bit of a lizard variation. Awesome, from here you're gonna walk the palms out off the mat, creating what feels like a downward dog shape in the front body. And then option to keep the back knee down on the earth or we'll lift it up, strong back leg, really reaching that left heel back. Pulling the right hip crease back here actively, breathing deep, walking the hands out. Awesome, take one more breath here, really breathing into all four sides of the torso, strong back leg. Good, and then slowly walking the hands back to frame your right foot. Inhale, open the chest, look forward. Exhale to plant the palms, step the right toes back, plank or half plank. This time, chaturanga to up dog or repeating belly to cobra. So moving with your breath, using the inhale to lift the heart, cobra or up dog. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Moving with the breath. Nice work, in your downward dog. Anchor through the right heel this time. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward nice and easy. Try to step that left foot up lightly. Then when you're ready, check front knee over front ankle. Ground down through all four corners of the front foot as you lower your right knee to the earth. Great, swing your left arm around and we'll walk it out this time off the mat towards the front right corner of your mat or towards your dog's face. And breathing deep here. Option to lift the back knee. Really strong in that back leg here as you reach the fingertips forward. Then peel the left hip crease back. Feel that kind of hugging to the midline, that lift up from the pelvic floor. You're breathing into all four sides of the torso here. Soften through the jaw, soften through the skin of the forehead. Take one more big breath in. Good, and then slowly you can walk the hands back to frame the front foot. Back knee lowered or lifted. Inhale, open the chest to look forward. And then exhale to plant the palms, step it back and take a vinyasa, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Move with your breath here, no need to rush. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Hips up high, heart melting towards the tops of the thighs. Try to find that external rotation in downward dog in the upper arm bones. So your biceps are shining in towards your ears, elbow creases towards the front edge, front edge of your mat. Awesome work, inhale in, exhale, slowly bend your knees, carve a line with your nose to look forward, and then slowly make your way to the top, keep breathing. You can hop, you can step, you can crisscross. And then when you get there, use your next inhale to find that flat back position once again lengthen through the crown of the neck. 
and exhale to soften, fold everything down. Root to rise here, inhale, reach for the sky, spread the fingertips, big beach ball up and overhead. And then exhale, palms kiss together overhead and slide back down into home. Prayer position at the heart. Take a breath here, observe, feel it out. Good, bend the knees, fingertips go down to come up here. So inhale, root to rise again, big stretch. Exhale, rain it down this time, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, moving with the breath. Exhale, soften and bow. Good, plant the palms, step one foot back, then the other plank pose. Inhale to shift forward, look forward. Exhale, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Move with your breath. Downward facing dog. When you get there, inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Good, anchor through the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward, step it all the way up. This time, pivot on the back foot and rise up strong, warrior one. Reach the fingertips up high, pull your right hip crease back. Back foot is strong, left toes turning in. And sometimes people ask me what the knife edge of the foot means when I say press into the knife edge. It means that sharp outer edge of your foot is grounding down so you kind of feel this lift through your inner arch. Find Virabhadrasana one here, warrior one, lift your chest. Inhale in, exhale to rain it all the way down, pivot on the back foot. Plant the palms, step the right toes back. You can go straight to downward dog here or take a vinyasa. Moving with your breath. We'll meet in downward dog. When you get there, again, inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out, bend your knees, get into your body. Give your thinking mind a break. Anchor the right heel. When you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward, strong core. Step it up lightly. We'll pivot on the back foot, back toes turned in. And when you're ready, we rise up strong. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Strong legs, pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Hug the low ribs in, breathe deep, inhale. And then exhale, rain it down. Come back to your lunge, step it back, take a vinyasa here or move straight to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale and downward facing dog. And exhale, let the heels get heavy. Good, bend the knees, inhale to look forward. Exhale to make your way to the top once again, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, your version. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, reach for the sky, big stretch, big breath. Exhale, palms kiss together and slide back down to the heart. Close your eyes here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Fingertips go down to come up. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. With the breath, exhale, fold. Beautiful, from here, plant the palms, step or hop it back, plank. Shift it forward, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog, flowing with the breath. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale in here, exhale to empty it out. Inhale, lift the right leg up high, three-legged dog. Exhale to shift it forward. Step it all the way up. This time, keep the back heel lifted. You can always lower the back knee. And we're gonna inhale, sweep the fingertips forward, up and back, high lunge. Front knee over front ankle, strong and steady here, connecting to the core, draw your navel in and up just a bit. Find that inner support system. And then from here, we're gonna bring the palms together up and overhead. Slowly take the fingertips to the right. Feel this stretch in the left side body, front of the left hip crease. As you do a deep twist over towards the right, bringing the outer edge of the left elbow to the outer edge of the right knee. Again, you can always lower the back knee here, breathing deep. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Finding that length in the crown. Find that belly breath. 
reach the back heel way back if your left knee is lifted. And then slowly bringing it back to center. Frame your right foot, plant the palm, step it back, straight to down dog or moving with your breath through a vinyasa. Reuniting breath and body. Meet me in downward facing dog. And when you're ready, anchor the right heel first and then inhale, lift the left leg up high, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift it forward, strong core. Step it up, nice and easy. Squeeze inner thighs to the midline as you swoop the fingertips forward, up and back. Find your high lunge. Beautiful, stick with it, stay calm, control your breath. Inhale in, exhale, palms kiss together up and overhead. Slow tilt to the left, strong foundation here as you feel that stretch in the right side body. And as you're ready, diving into your twist here. Back knee can come to the ground at any time. Spiraling your heart up towards the sky. Strong back leg if you have the right knee lifted. Now everyone, return to the breath. Breathe into your belly. Massage those internal organs. Lengthen through the crown. You got this, one more inhale. And then use the exhale to guide you back to the lunge. All right, last vinyasa here. Plant the palms, step it back, take it or leave it, moving with your breath, nice and slow. Meet me in downward facing dog. Nice. In downward dog, take three deep breaths, in and out, in and out, in and out. Then bend your knees after your three breaths. Make your way to the top of your mat, nice and slow. Forward fold. And then bending the knees, tucking the chin. And go slow here, rolling up through the spine. Observing your breath, noticing quality of air in the room, the quality of your breath, and noticing how you feel in your body as you rise back up to where we started, mountain pose. Close your eyes, let everything go here, and just take one last final beat to be in your body. Let the breath just return to its natural rhythm, natural flow here. And then slowly drawing the palms together at the heart space. Once again, giving thanks for this time to just reconnect, reunite, find what feels good. Take one last breath in. And exhale to bow the head to the hands toward the heart. Namaste.